wind spinners that were seven feet tall and, and extravagant pieces, but they're very expensive uh, because they're, they're artwork. Well, so is this, but it's not expensive. In fact, that $17.68 price tag is a 20% savings off the QVC price. And in terms of wind spinners, it's just different. You've got this wonderful fairy princess. Look at those delicate hands. And it's her tutu that spins in the wind. This is another example of what Marigold does very, very well. They add whimsy, charm, and personality to your outdoor living space. Jennifer Baker is the representative for Marigold. And I have kept you very busy so far today, have I not? You have, and I'm totally fine with that. I love hanging out with you. Yeah, it's always fun. <laughs> always fun. Yeah. Now, you've got both colors in front of you. You've got the pink and also the blue. Uh, I only have the pink Ew. here on the set. Uh, kind of a tough choice, but I've got to tell you, uh, when I think of ballerinas, I think of pink. Yeah. Pink. Yeah. Yeah. You know, these remind me of um, in Sleeping Beauty, like, you know, the fairies that would help Sleeping Beauty, like help Aurora, like there was a blue fairy and I think there was a pink one and a green one. I, like, and that's what I think of with these. These connect you to your childhood. They make you think of those fairy tales, those magical stories that you fell in love with as a kid. And now you get to bring this into your garden spaces at home. Your fairy spinner stands 42 inches tall. Yep. It will come in quite a few pieces and we give you great instructions on how to put it all together. And when you, when it is all assembled, you have a beautiful dancer with her arms out so gracefully. She's got a really sweet little hairdo, I think, you know, how most ballerinas have their what, hair what, up. What do they and call you, an, an updo? Is that the proper an phrase? An updo, yes, an updo, very good dance. Now, do, yeah, now, now listen, <laughs> give the bald guy some credit for even knowing, okay? <laughs> This, I call this a not do. It's a, a not it's do. a no do. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so fun. Um, <laughs> she's got her sweet Sorry, little fairy continue. wings. No, no, no. You're good. We're having fun. And then right here in the middle, this is where the spinning motion happens. Her skirt, which is made out of like, it looks to me like flower petals. Um, they are all in a circle and this is what twirls around in the breeze. And then her legs are down here and she's right up on tiptoe or on point as a proper ballerina would be. Yep. Now, when she gets to you, um, she's going to have come a long way um, in her box. And so the skirt's probably going to be a little bit compressed. So what you want to do is ever so gently sort of fluff the petals of her skirt by kind of spreading them out. And that'll help the wind to come through and push these so you get that spinning motion. And you may need to add a little bit of lubricant right up here to help it get going. But let me tell you, I had these out in our side yard and once her tail was fluffed or her, her um, skirt was fluffed and her we had a little bit of lubricant here, I mean, these things are spinning like this. I mean, they were really going. They're all hand painted, by the way. Now, just for your camera angle, just so you can tell, uh, she has them in garden pots. So they're not- I do. Yeah, they're not as tall as, as Jennifer is. That's why I was standing behind this one. And I've got to tell you, I think this is actually an advantage because you need to have a pretty good amount of space for those six and seven foot tall wind spinners that, that you've seen every catalog coming out with. This is still small enough that you could put it in a potted plant if you wanted to. And it also gives you that visual statement but it's, it's big enough to be fun. And I am always looking for those little surprises in a garden that wouldn't be expected. Uh, my two grandbabies love pink and, and love the idea of ballet. So look at this perfect size to be able to put anywhere. That's a 20% savings off our regular QVC price. We are getting limited in the pink. I think the blue, we have a few more of the blue, uh, and, uh, but I wouldn't wait on this. And, and if you find something that you like, get it now, because if you wait, they're going to be gone. These are all made by hand. And Jennifer, that's a touch that Marigold does very well. Yes, 
and we do the touches of whimsy very well. You know, we could have given you a ballet dancer. Well, first of all, we could have just given you a garden steak that spins. But yeah. we thought, now let's make it a ballet dancer. And then we were like, wait a minute, we're Marigold. She needs to be a fairy ballet dancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as I have nieces who love to dance too. Um, one of them in particular, like your grandbaby, is obsessed with pink. So she would totally go for this. And if you have little girls in your life and they are dancers and you're trying to like get them outside and get them excited about gardening, what a fun way for them to sort of like place their flag or place their fairy, so to speak, yep. in their little spot in the garden. And they can own a little bit, a little patch of, of the garden to call their own. I think every single garden, every single backyard should have at least a few elements that if you asked a toddler, what name would you give it, that they would be able to give you a name. Whether it's a, a little garden bunny, or whether in this case, it's our, our fairy ballerina. But if you ask a toddler, to give something like this name, they'll come up with it. And that'll become kind of theirs. You, you want friends in the garden, things that you look forward to. Now it is a wind spinner and I'm in a studio, so I don't have enough wind in here, but, but her little flower petal skirt just, just moves in such a graceful way that it, it really kind of makes this, this little fairy look like they come to life. They do. And on our Instagram page here at Marigold, it's Marigold by QVC. I've taken lots of videos of how these look when they're in our side yard uh -huh. so that you can see in real time, like what they look like when the wind is really hitting them. And again, this is the whimsical, magical side of what we do. We're a private brand at QVC. We want to bring smiles to your faces. We want to help you connect with the kid at heart that's inside of you yeah. and bring you a little bit of whimsy and joy in nature. Uh, they almost appear, I hope this makes sense, like they should make some kind of a, <clears throat> a magical tinkling sound, you know? But they don't. Yeah. They're completely quiet. Some people don't like wind chimes. <laughs> that's me. Uh, I think these are perfect. They're wonderful. So Jennifer, thank you for taking a good, a, almost three hours out of your day to join us and to be a part of what we do. Hey, anytime. Thank you. Next item, item number 19 out of the 23, 23 different clearance sale items.